Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Bray. Do you ever feel like you're going through the motions to get through the day? Do you continue to do what you do <clears throat> because you've always done it that way? But now things have changed. So I wrote my book, Define Your Why. It published in February. It was all about owning your story so you could live and learn on purpose. I had loads of events and book signings scheduled. And then this coronavirus. It's changed all of us. But something happened. People have been reaching out to me. They said they've been reading my book to redefine their why. They found out that now that they have more time, they've realized that they can change what they're doing and they can learn a lot about themselves that they didn't know before. So let me just tell you a little bit about why I wrote this book in the first place. About three years ago, I started a podcast my Rethinking Learning podcast on my website, barbabray.net. I realized I wanted to learn the stories. So I invited people to have conversations about the learning and how they started to become a teacher or whatever they you know, found they wanted to do. And almost everyone shared with me their struggles and how it made them stronger. All through that, I realized some of these people, I never knew they struggled. I didn't realize that they learned from those struggles, you know, all the different struggles and the challenges that they had, and it made them stronger. And that's what happened to me. So I wanted to write about the stories. So I asked several of the people that were on my podcast, including Nicole Biscotti, to write their story in my book. So my subtitle is, own your story so you can live and learn on purpose. I, I have learned so much from people who have been reading my book now. I've been doing webinars, sharing author talks, and then when, you know, Nicole and Mel from Edutable said, come here and share a little bit about what your book is. What I've found is that if we share our stories and we realize that this time that we have right now can help us find our or redefine our purpose. So in my book, it talks about all of these things. And so I have on my website, barbabray.net, there's a tab at the top called for define your why. And I have book study activities for you. In the book, there are questions I call them questions to ponder on every chapter. I have resources. So I put the resources on the website also. I have videos with QR codes and other, play, other links for you. But I also put some of the links for you on the website. I wanted you to be able to dig deeper into finding out about you. So let me tell you what the chapters are. Chapter one is why share your backstory? Why? Your story, there's so much about you. Learn about it. There's activities in here. I tell you my story on how I did them, and I want you to be able to share your backstory. And there's also some activities that you can do by sharing your story with someone else about the feelings that they're having listening to you. And also having empathy for yourself around your story. Chapter two is the main being the main character of your story. What happens is we read some books and we connect to the main character. So how are people connecting to you? And it's all about the characteristics of the main character and then finding those that you feel are yours. And then how to really look at those characters characteristics and help you through these trying times. Chapter three is about start with your why from Simon Sinek. And I changed it so it works with educators and others, that, especially for people who are now struggling, working and learning at home. So there's some activities on how you can even create a why statement, for especially now. And those that why changes with experiences. 
chapter four is about going with your strengths and skills. So there's ideas on how to figure out what your strengths are and what the skills are that you're going to need, especially now to get through this crisis. Chapter five is on universal design for learning. So you know how you can figure out how you learn best. And if you're working with students at home or your own children, how you determine how they learn best. Chapter six is all about Ikigai. Ikigai is the Japanese concept for the meaning of life. People are telling me that this one is really helping them now. It tells you the four elements what you love, what you're good at, what the world needs, and your value. And I'm not going to tell you anymore. I want you to really check that one out. Then chapter seven is why have empathy for you. And it brings in the design thinking process and has you as the product and the idea to come up with the why. And then eight is to discover your passions and what you love. So you take what you figured out in Ikigai and then build on those. And then all throughout all of these, there are stories. And then aligning on number nine is aligning your passions with what the world needs. And I bring in the UN Sustainable Development Goals and wonderful stories from people who are using these in their classrooms. And then 10 is how your passion can be your message and grow into your why with activities, stories, and a lot more. 11 is all about surrounding yourself with people who believe in you and believe in your passion and your why. And I bring in social media strategies. And then 12, the last chapter is about you being the chief storyteller of you and your why. So please get my book, tell me what you think about it, and I hope it helps you as you redefine your why during this crisis. But also, share your ideas about your passion and your story because you matter. Thanks again, Edutable, for this opportunity.